Restoring the faded black plastic trim on this 2007 Ford Ranger. Now I'm going to restore that plastic trim using two things that you probably wouldn't consider using. Boiled linseed oil and Penetrol, which is an oil-based paint additive. I'm going to use both of those and compare the results. If you use either one of these products, make sure you follow all the warnings and precautions, especially the precaution about how you dispose of rags that are saturated with either one of these. I would recommend that you wear latex gloves because each one of these is kind of sticky. A microfiber towel is best so that you don't get little pieces of lint in the product on your bumper or on your trim. I'm also going to use a disposable paintbrush to get into small cracks and crevices. And I actually posted a video about five years ago using Penetrol to restore the trim on my 95 Honda Accord. But now I'm doing it again on the 07 Ranger. Now I'm going to remove the vanity plate holder just to give us cleaner lines so that we can compare one side to the other because left side I'm going to do with Penetrol, right side with linseed oil. And as you can see I'm going to put a piece of painter's tape right down the middle so that once both sides are done we can peel the tape off and we'll have a comparison how it used to be and how it is with the two products. I cut that microfiber towel in half and to be sure that I don't get the rags mixed up, I put a P on the Penetrol rag. So I'm gonna start with that on this side. And I know from having done the trim on the Accord that a little bit goes a long way. You can see the difference immediately. Now let's try some of the linseed oil. and very similar if not identical results at least so far and actually if you look at the ingredients on the penetrol this contains linseed oil so it might just be that the penetrol is just linseed oil with some additives and as far as drying times go the penetrol dries in 12 to 24 hours the boiled linseed oil dries in 12 to 18 hours and if you decide to go with the linseed oil, make sure you get boiled linseed oil because the boiled linseed oil has a faster drying time as compared with regular linseed oil. Done with the front bumper, I'm gonna let it dry overnight and we'll come back and check it out tomorrow. 17 hours later. Look how even that is. And right there also. Then we come across to the Penetrol. We have a little dry spot right there. Got some splotchiness here. This spot is because I have two coats on that spot. If you go back and look at the beginning of the video, you can see a little spot on the bumper right there. That's because a couple of months ago, I put some Penetrol on the bumper to show my father-in-law that it would work, that it would darken the bumper. So that's why that looks a little different right there. That has two coats within the last couple of months. So I think what I'm gonna do is put another coat, Penetrol on the left, linseed oil on the right, do it all again, let it dry, and come back tomorrow. So that'll be the plan. It's the next day, about 20 hours since that second coat. The linseed oil side, once again, is nice and even. And the Penetrol side, remember there was a dry spot right here. That's gone. And the spot we saw right there, that's also gone. So Penetrol looks nice and even. And both sides match very well. So. To prove that it's dry, I have a cotton ball that I'm going to drag across both sides. If it was not dry, the cotton ball would be sticking, and actually, that is a little bit wet still, as opposed to the Penetrol side, completely dry. Linseed oil, still a little bit tacky. 
and now that cotton is stuck in there. So that's a point in favor of the Penetrol. It seems to dry faster. Now I'm going to try to clean that cotton up. Might be easier said than done. That's better. Still a few little spots, but I uh, will work on those. Penetrol dries faster. That's what we learned. You can see where some of the linseed oil primarily bled underneath the tape, but that right there, that's how faded out the whole bumper was. And I'm gonna to touch up those spots with Penetrol. Later that same day, the day that I uh, figured out Penetrol dries a little faster, so that was the way to go. I've done all the other plastic trim except for one piece. And now the last piece to do is on the passenger side in the rear. I forgot about the vanity plate holder, so this will actually be the last thing. If anybody's still out there watching, I'm gonna use the Penetrol. The linseed oil and the penetrol each about $13 a quart and as far as this stuff goes if you have a quart of it you could probably do the trim in your car 30 or 40 times for $13 so pretty much identical results between the two probably because penetrol is mostly linseed oil but the penetrol did dry faster under the same conditions so because of that I would recommend penetrol over boiled linseed oil thanks for watching and here's before and after